The market is changing, it's always changing. Customer demands are changing. People want higher performing windows, high performing doors. They want higher light transmission, you know, bigger sight lines, less material, but they need the performance that, 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 that you know, the climate and our net zero targets, etc., cetera, are, are, are placing on them. The ones that have taken that leap, who are thinking about the future, who are thinking about where their business will be in five years, in 10 years time. Those are the customers that seem to be generating enough margins from the work they're doing to reinvest in their business. Whereas I find the customers that aren't doing that, aren't making the margins, they're basically just paying their overheads and there's no money left at the end of the day to invest in their business. You know, when they go into higher value added products, you know, the costs increase, the cost of the products increase. You know, if, if they get things wrong, the cost of their losses increases and these are the things that can catch them out and they can be slightly surprised by and I think because I've had these conversations we've gone through this with other customers we know the pains and that gives customers a lot of comfort and, and confidence in us and confidence in them to go ahead and actually tackle these these bigger challenging jobs which they you know previously might have been too been too daunting to to attempt there are customers that we've walked a long journey with and like I say you wouldn't recognize them today and that was just because they you know they they jumped in uh, to took the challenge and, and, and they came out on top of that. What we've done is support them with the technical knowledge when they go into jobs that they're not comfortable with, nothing they've dealt with before, they want to give it a try. It's really a personal relationship that I've formed with customers based on you know their capacity, their capabilities. And I'd say I probably have you know two, three dozen customers now that their businesses have you know been revolutionized. They're, they're not the business today that they were three, four years ago when we started having these conversations and some of them have increased their factories, they've got bigger fleets, bigger teams, and they're always looking to us to reinvest in our business because there comes a point where what they're asking for is maybe even something further than what we're able to provide them with. So we're always having conversations uh, where we need to invest, things like heat soak ovens, um, you know, other types of processing machines, increased processing machines. Uh, glass products are are smart these days, they're very smart products and we're trying to stay on the front foot of, of uh, those products all the time and we're always looking elsewhere and, and you know a, abroad as well for products that could probably perform better without you know pushing the cost to a point that it's uneconomical to use. So.